Now I will be demonstrating uh, just general component installation with the Inwin GR1. Um, first thing you'll need to do is install your motherboard standoffs. Uh, these are, do not come pre-installed. Now uh, the case is rated to fit ATX, Micro ATX, and EATX motherboards. Um, unfortunately, there is no diagram. There's no. Uh, a lot of times you'll find them etched right in here with you know E1, E2, blah blah blah, so you know where to put the standoffs. There's no diagram there, nor is there an actual diagram in the manual as well. So uh, either you can blindly guess, or you're going to have to, you know, line it up with the motherboard so you know exactly which standoffs to use. All right, the motherboard is installed now, and there is an absolute impressive amount of room, as this does uh, accommodate EATX motherboards. There is a huge gap here on the side between uh, the routing holes. Um, there's also a nice space up here at the top, especially with AMD motherboards that have the uh, CPU power connector up top here, uh, and they do actually have a grommet in the routing hole up top as well. And then um, I am using a Sabertooth board, which has an excellent amount of fan connections. And their fan connections, uh, they do feature both just the regular three pins, and then they also have an adapter um, that they include in the accessories where you can go to Molex if you'd like. Now, my next install was the power supply with a little bit of cable routing here. Now, there will be some exposure with the cables just because of the gap between the cable routing holes and, you know, connections to the motherboard, but uh, more than enough space for everything. Um, the fans, I was able to... They have a fan con controller built in with the silence and turbo mode, but because I'm using the Sabertooth board, I was able to actually just use the three-pin connectors and connect all of them into the motherboard itself. So... I won't really need to use the fan controller. And the only real issue that I saw was that on the back of the motherboard plate here, there are no tie-off points. So, uh, you know, you got to just kind of push the wires around. There's nowhere to really secure them down to other than tying them to themselves. Now, hard drive installation is pretty straightforward. You just, you know, unlatch the bracket here. Um, three and a half inch hard drives just kind of line in with the uh, little grommets here that hold it in place. Two and a half inches you'll have to screw into the bottom there. And then you push it back in. Slide it in place and close the latch. ODD drives are also simple to add and remove. Um, what they do, you don't really take the front bezel off. There's just little finger grips here. You can just squeeze and pull it right out. And then um, as far as the tool-free design, these just pull out. Put your drive in, line up the holes, and then just push it in place. And you're done. And then my final install is the graphics card. Um, now this is a 7950, and as you can see there is tons of room here. Um, they say you can fit up to 14 inch uh, video cards. So um, you'll have absolutely no problem with any, any video card in this case. And here's a final look at the component installation in the Inwin GR1. And this is an AMD bulldozer system with a uh, 99FX uh, Sabertooth motherboard, a 7950 graphics card, two 3.5 inch hard drives, ODD drive, and then the, the it will fit taller uh, tower heat sinks here. Um, this one is I think about 140 millimeters, 145 millimeters, but there is ample space here and then the um, actual window on the side does protrude out a bit too so uh, it can fit just about any size tower out there.